close your eyes and breathe deeply for a bit to establish the sensation of breathing in the body. Where is it right now? Where do you feel it most prominently? And if deep breathing feels good, keep it up. If not, then you can change. But try to stay in touch with that sense of the breath. What kind of breathing feels good right now? There's so many other burdens we have in life. There's no need to burden ourselves with uncomfortable breathing. So give the breath some space. Give it some attention. It's a process that goes on in its own, even when you don't pay attention. But if you give it careful attention, it can do more than just keep you alive. The way the breath comes in, the way breath co the breath goes out has an impact on the body, throughout the body. And the more sensitive you are to that, then the more you're able to provide the body with what it needs. It's a kind of food for the body. In fact, it's so necessary that if we stop for just a few minutes, we die. So look after this. It's a way of showing goodwill for yourself and goodwill to others. Remember, we're here looking for a happiness that causes no harm to anyone. And a lot of times it's our hunger for different things, our fears about different things, our greed for different things that makes us do things that are harmful to ourselves and harmful to other people. And all that fear and greed and whatnot comes from the fact that we don't feel at ease in our own skin. And so we go out looking for things outside, hoping to stuff them in, stuff them in, and that'll change things. But it's a lot easier just to sit here and breathe in a way that's comfortable and have a sense of satisfaction with that. Then you realize a lot of things you could have gone out to get were actually harmful, were not in your best interest or in the best interest of anybody else. It's just a huge waste of time. There's so much time wasted in the human world. Time devoted to developing true happiness is something that's not wasted at all. It takes your life and gives it a good purpose. We live for our relationships, we live for status, we live for money, we live for all kinds of things that then just slip through our fingers. Here's something that doesn't slip. In the beginning it may come and go, come and go, but as you get more skilled at the meditation you begin to realize it's really reliable and it's there for you when you really need it. And as the breath grows calm, the mind gets clearer and it can see itself. See, when it's tempted to do something that's not skillful, you can hold yourself in check. When it's tempted to think things that are harmful to you, you can hold it in check. And this way you're not a burden to yourself. Because the mind, if it's not trained, it's like a, it's like a friend who comes and just stirs you up and gets you into trouble. Or if it's trained, then it becomes a, a true friend. So it takes some time for its training. And as long as you're alive and breathing, it's never too late. <laughs>